Hello everybody, it's Rapid, and today we're going to be going over Splish Splash Mo's 5.0. I know, we've made it to a 5.0 of a build. This is ridiculous. I'm surprised this lasted as long as it has. This was the first Borderlands video we ever posted on this channel, was Splish Splash Mo's 1.0. And uh, before we get into the rest of the video, make sure to check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rapidfactor. And of course, check out the Discord in the description where we post the save files for these builds and have the greatest community on the planet. Now let's get into the video. So, for this build, you can really use any splash weapon you want. I have uh, quite the plethora of on here, but there's definitely plenty more I could be using. I even have a head explosion if you are fun like I am. Um, this build has changed a tad, not really enough to change it or make it a different build. But yeah, so we have gear on here, we have heralds of all the elements, we have kids' words, we have sandhawks, plague bearers, head explosions, and uh, back burners, plague bearers. Um, plasma coils, trevenators, I think I said plague bearers already, whoops. But um, let's get into the rest of the gear, we like our shield. Shield is a bullet buffet old god, so we get even more ammo. Even though we're Moe's, we don't need it, but I want it. Um, we have AC bonus cryo on this. Okay, so here's the only thing that's really changed. For mobbing, we're going to be using Blastmaster, and for some bosses, we're going to be using Blastmaster as well. Um, we have this with splash damage, weapon fire, and weapon damage. And then for bossing, we have the old Minesweeper with splash damage, weapon damage, and grenade damage. Our grenade, of course, is the cloning maddening tracker with on grenade thrown. And our artifact is the pearl of ineffable knowledge. Now let's get on to our skill tree. We're going to be starting off with blue tree, where we start off with 5 in fire and skag den, 3 in means of destruction, 5 in torque cross promotion, 5 in stainless steel bear, 3 and pull the holy pin, 3 in vampire, 1 into the last, and 1 in short fuse. And now on the purple tree where we have 3 in big surplus and 3 in biofuel. And now on to green tree where we have 5 in cloud of lead, 3 in stoke the embers, 1 in redistribution, 5 in scrappy, 1 in russian offensive, 5 in scorching rpms, 5 in the iron bank, 1 in sum for the road, and 1 in forge. And then onto our red tree where we have 5 in Armored Infantry, 5 in Drowning in Brass, and 1 in Experimental Munitions. So for this build, you just want to kind of put out your Iron Cub. I have him using the V-35 Grenade Launchers, so he kills himself during combat, which sounds very dark, but he will proc our big surplus for us when he does die. And there's really nothing else to this build, it's very simple. We don't have any special Guardian rank, and we don't have any special mayhem modifiers i play on mayhem 11 but that is all for this video i hope you enjoyed and have a good rest of your night day whatever not just because that's so because you want to and i'll see you guys all next time peace out